So, Denisio, I'm going to make you a little video here. This is a jack kind of like the Ampanols that you have. It's got that little doohickey on it. So, I didn't bend it down, but I'll do it for the purpose of this video. So, I'm going to take these little guys and squish it. So, I'll be right back. As you can see, it's kind of... See, it's pretty much smushed. So, anyway, that's that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how you want to prep your wire for these things. It's the 2319 that you're using. Okay, I kind of rigged up this little stand here. I'll see if this will work. Um, that be weird. But typically for these things, I'll kind of, you know, you want to cut off about that much. Like that, you know, maybe, what is that? I don't know, half of an inch, maybe five-eighths you'll kind of get a feel for it after a while so get that stuff and then just pull all this junk away kind of pull it to one side twist it like that that's what I usually do and then this black junk here is actually a conductive material for shielding the inner core so you gotta kind of scrape it off real careful to get to the chewy center to get to the ugh, this part just the clear conductive part because yeah if you have your shield or center wire touching that it's gonna make it sound real dull and crappy i learned that the hard way so, yeah, just peel off about that much, if you can see that. Oh, it's kind of dark here, sorry. Out in the shed. Um, and then what I'll do, just kind of lay it in here and fit it. You see kind of where everything lies. That's pretty good. I mean, it could be a little shorter, actually. I like it to come through just a tiny bit more. What I'll do is I'll just peel back some more insulation here, just a bit more. You can just kind of feel when it's touching. I use a knife, maybe you've got a set of wire strippers, but this stuff's pretty easy to work with, so. Um, yeah, so I basically want to get the top one, so I got a little bit coming through in the back here. Let me move that over. So it kind of looks like that. And then we've got all this extra on this bottom one. So we'll just snip off. You know, I usually kind of go right to where the wire is stripped on the other one, like that. So they're kind of about the same size. And then everything just kind of lays in there real nice. And then, let's see, we'll put this in here so I don't have to use a bunch of hands. Uh, let's get these guys kind of whatever it's nice to have the extra set of stuff we got the old solder gun as you probably watched already on YouTube it's easier to tin wires if you got a little bit of solder on there just a little bit a little bit of that and then just you'll see it just kind of sucks in there I got that one's pretty juicy so Anyway, now I'll go back to this side. And what I like to do is take this guy and bend it with a plier so it kind of has a little, I guess like an elbow to it. So it kind of just lays in there real nice and makes it easy for you. And then, uh, sorry this isn't the best. It's kind of dark and crappy, but hopefully you're getting the idea. And then the same, this top guy, I have this big hole. I, you can kind of do this trick with it, make a little hook out of it. I'm also going to nip a bit of this off because it's kind of long. So it doesn't need to be forever. So you can see that it kind of looks like that. You kind of got a little dog leg on the bottom and a little hook on the top. And then what you do is this thing is already kind of tinned up, but I'll run through the exercise here. Oh, God, 
and stuff is falling all over the place. Um, okay, let's see if I can get my little jerry rig stand a little better here. There we go. Where the heck is my solder? Crap. Okay, found some solder. So once again, a little dab on there. That'll just help transfer heat through this thick ass piece of metal. And as you see, this just warms up a little. It's already got some goo on it, but there, we'll just put some more on. I'll do the same thing again up here. There. That's pretty thick and juicy. Um, where's my wire? Here we go. Sorry, I bit the camera. Back at it here, and then, let's see. heat up the bottom and do that one first so it takes a bit more heat and you'll see it get all nice and juicy in there it just melts and then you just let it cool off a bit and then we can take our pliers and sort of bend this little guy over like that Heat it up, it should just plop right through the hole. You're gonna look super pro when this happens. Come on. Once it warms up, see, it just pops right in there. Put a little heat on that, it might get a little warm, but that's what calluses are for. But that's that, and uh, you should be able to do about a gajillion of those. You'll get really good at them. All right, man. I'll send you this video.